leave code 2115, find all possible recipes from given supplies. So um, if for your input, you have um, N different number recipes, and then you are given a 2D array uh, with ingredients. And so there's the same number of ingredients per recipe, and then you're given a list of supplies. So for instance, in this first example, you're given one recipe, and so then you have one list of ingredients, which would be yeast and flour to create this recipe. In the second example, you're given a list of two recipes, so you're given also a list of two ingredients that would make those recipes. So to make bread, <clears throat> you need yeast flour. To make sandwich, you need bread and meat. Then you're given this list of supplies where you can make all of your stuff. Uh, your output is bread and sandwich because bread actually becomes an ingredient once it has been created. And then you can use um, your bread to make your sandwich. So um, for this, we should actually, first thing we should do is construct uh, relationships between recipes and ingredients and then turn a recipe into a supply if um, it is created. And then once we do that, we will um, traverse using the FS to find relationships. And again, relationships between the recipes and the ingredients and see add to list um, the complete recipes. So to construct these relationships between um, recipes and ingredients, um, we're going to use two hash maps. So the first hash map is going to be um, the ingredient is the key and the um, list of recipes that use that ingredient is going to be the value. map um, string and then we are going to have a list of strings and then we'll call this ingredient to our ingredient to recipe and that's just going to have be initialized like this and then we are going to have a hash map where um, the key is going to be the recipe value is how many ingredients and then I'll just call that count of recipes and it's going to be new catch now. So let's populate this. So we want to do ingredients to recipes so we'll say for uh, int i equals zero I less than this ingredients size I plus plus we want to have um, so the ingredient size is going to be also the same as the recipe size so we can even just say um, 
count of, we can use the same I, so we'll say rested is I. So this will do exactly this. It'll say um, key is the recipe and value is the count of the ingredients that the recipe needs. And then we have well, here the ingredient is the key and the list of recipes that use the ingredient is going to be the value. So ingredient recipe we are going to I'm using computive absent because it'll say if this array list isn't exist already we are going to create one so we're going to put the for the ingredient ingredient in this ingredients get i we are going to put the ingredient as the key and then i am going to say i'm just using h is, you could use any letter here you could use any letter um, for this lambda function. This is array list. So if it doesn't exist, make it. And add recipes i. So this is the current recipe that we're on. So we'll say for every ingredient, add it to add this recipe. Okay. Um, then we are going to traverse. So we're going to make a BFS. We're going to make a queue a string. So it's going to be the ingredient that we're adding on. So uh, for the, all the supplies in the supply list, which is here. I'm going to say queue add supply. So we have all those already on the queue. And based on this signature here, we're going to be looking for this as an answer. So I'm just going to say this here in case we find an answer to add on. I'm going to initialize it here. Eventually, we're going to be returning that answer. I'm going to say while this queue isn't empty, while the queue isn't empty, we're going to look at this one ingredient here. I'm going to just say call that, and I'm going to say it is queue pull. And we'll say if this um, ingredient to recipe has this key, and the reason why is because um, we can create new ingredients eventually. We'll be adding it to the ingredient. So um, say for instance, um, we eventually will be making a burger here and that in burger will be added to the ingredients, but we are not going to have that to be uh, something else that we are going to need in the in, in already in the ingredients here. So um, we're just not going to add that back to the queue. Okay, so if it has this key. We're going to say um, for the recipe in that 
list. For every recipe in that list. Now let's check to see if we have it zero amount, we'll say. Um, for count of, we are going to say put recipe and then we are going to say minus one. We're going to take one ingredient off of it and we'll say if it's zero we can add it to our list. Also, um, put it back on the queue in case we can use it for another ingredient for a recipe. And then that actually should be it. Let me just see if there's any syntactical errors. Oh, I have to put this type here for string ingredient. And then 121. Oh, it's contains key. Okay. And I'm just going to submit. Okay, and that's all. Thank you.